Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Vanderpool, and today we're going to be talking about economic growth and productivity. And our focus for today is on how countries can achieve long-run economic growth. So first thing we have to do is actually define economic growth. So there's really two definitions of economic growth. The first one is economic growth can be defined as a sustained increase in real gross domestic product over time. And this can definitely show um, economic power. Um, however, uh, that definition can come purely from just more population um, being inside of a nation. Um, that if you have a higher population that is producing, you can have an increase in real gross domestic product over time. But that doesn't necessarily show that each person is getting more. Because of that, um, I actually kind of like this definition a little bit more, um, which is a sustained increase in real GDP per capita over time. And per capita means per person. So this is taking real GDP divided by the number of people in a nation. So I think this does a better uh, job of showing an increase in living standards because uh, higher real GDP per capita shows that each person has more. So why grow? Uh, growth leads to a greater uh, prosperity for society. It leads to a higher standard of living. It lessens the burden of scarcity. Remember, the fundamental problem of economics is scarcity. There's not enough to go around. If you have economic growth, that means more is being produced, which means that there is more to go around. You have an expansion of the pie so to speak. And, and uh, economic growth increases the general level of well-being. So what are some of the conditions that are necessary for there to be economic growth? The first one is uh, the willingness to sacrifice current consumption in order to grow. The second one, which is really related to the first, is saving and its counterpart, investing. So nations, in order to be able to grow, they have to sacrifice consumption so therefore they can save and they can go ahead and use those savings to invest. Now there's a real good book out there. Uh, it was written by Thomas Stanley. It's called The Millionaire Next Door. And um, Thomas Stanley went around and he interviewed a whole bunch of millionaires. And one of the things that he found out many of them had in common were, was that they were all saver, uh, savers. Okay, they all saved quite a bit of money. So this works on that individual level. This also works on a macroeconomic level where um, economic studies have shown that saving and its counterpart investment can really expand economic growth. And then finally, trade. So nations, um, remember according to uh, trade theory, nations will produce where they have the comparative advantage. Okay, they'll specialize where they have the comparative advantage. They will trade and they will both, both nations will become better off after that trade. All right, next we're going to take a look at a few factors that promote long-run economic growth. The first one is physical capital. Remember, when we're talking about physical, cap physical capital, we're talking about tools, machinery, factories, infrastructure. Uh, physical capital is a product of investment. So like I said, remember, when we're talking about investment, we're talking about producing um, producing today in order for a future payoff. Investment is sensitive to interest rates and expected rates of return. It takes capital to make capital. 
Machines are used to make new machines, for example. And capital definitely needs to be maintained. Now, economists have a term for a society as it accumulates more and more capital and therefore has uh, higher and higher longer economic growth. And that term is called capital deepening. A second factor that can promote long-run economic growth is technology and productivity. So research and development, innovation, invention, they yield increases in available technology. So more technology in the hands of workers increases productivity. Each worker can produce more. Productivity is simply output per worker. So more productivity means more economic growth. So why is technology essential for economic growth? Because it makes people more productive. So therefore, there is more economic growth. There's more gross domestic product being produced. Therefore, there is more to go around, which solves that fundamental economic problem of scarcity.